Hello everyone, this is SPY, which is the most uh, traded S&P 500 index. As we can see, it's down 1.7% on Friday, September 6, right after the mixed uh, report uh, of a non-farm payroll report. And uh, uh, it's uh, there is a very long bearish red candle. And from technical point of view, uh, some people has uh, observed a double top formation, uh, which is uh, seen as a bearish uh, formation. Uh, and this chart shows you the fund flow data from S L S E G, and uh, it only captures the long position of the U.S. equity. Uh, it shows us that uh, for the week ending in September 9th, uh, which is uh, two, which is Thursday, uh, one day before the big non-farm payroll report, um, there is a mar uh, money market fund inflow of approximately $45 billion and a U.S. equity outflow of around $11 billion, uh, showing us that uh, people are bearish because the money are exiting the U.S. equity and are entering the uh, money market fund. And uh, this chart shows us that for the week ending uh, April 9th, which is Thursday, uh, the most outflow happened in the uh, information technology sector, uh, around uh, $830 million outflow. And uh, let's take a look at the Goldman Sachs uh, flow report data uh, ending uh, for the week uh, for the week ending on uh, September 6, which is Friday, which includes the uh, non-farm payroll data day. And uh, this chart is much better because it not only represents the long position, it also captures the short position. And the black line shows you the net flow, okay? So which uh, captures the hedge fund, uh, uh, hedge fund sentiment very well. And uh, this chart is a prime book trading flow of U.S. equities. Um, and the net flow uh, right now, year to date, the black line uh, is about uh, minus 20%. Okay, since since the first day of uh, 2024, and uh, um, this week ending in uh, September 6 uh, is a net sold for the four consecutive week, and uh, the short sales uh, outpaced long buy by the ratio of 2.5 to one. Hedge funds has a net sold U.S. equity in 12 of the past 13 weeks, and. Uh, for this week, uh, the most noticeable bot sectors are industrial, consumer discretionaries, uh, healthcare, utilities, and the uh, most sold sectors are energy, staples, and uh, financials. And uh, the right-hand side chart uh, shows you the um, uh, net uh, net uh, flow uh, by the black by either single stocks showing in black or macro products such as uh, index indexes uh, futures or ETFs shown in the uh, blue. And of course, the reason for the current uh, uh, correction is due to two reasons. On the macro side, we can see that there is a hard landing concern of the macro economy. And on the microeconomic side, uh, we have a valuation concern, especially for the AI stocks such as uh, NVIDIA. Okay, And according to the uh, research in JP Morgan, U.S. stock market is getting very top-heavy. Uh, the magnificent seven stocks, okay, which is the top seven largest uh, tech stocks, they account for 30% of the total S&P 500 market cap. And the chart on the right uh, shows you in blue the trailing 12-month performance versus the golden color uh, changing 2024 earnings estimate since uh, June of uh, 2023. As we can see, uh, different columns represent uh, different uh, cap uh, capital size uh, of stocks, right? On the S&P 1 to 20 represent the top uh, 20 stock in the S&P 500. And uh, the larger the market cap, uh, the better the performance in general, and uh, the better the earnings revision in general. So that's why we're saying current U.S. market is very top-heavy. 
And uh, this chart over here coming from uh, Morgan Stanley Chief U.S. Uh, equity strategist uh, Mike Wilson. He has also reported a similar phenomenon where the earnings revision has been very concentrated because in the left hand side chart we can see a magnificent we, we can see the earning revisions uh, for different type of uh, equities. The top one, the best one moving upwards, right? It's a magnificent seven, the top seven tech stocks. Uh, and uh, number two line we have the magnificent seven X Nvidia. And uh, the third line, we have uh, S&P 500. Uh, the fourth line, we have S&P 493, uh, which is uh, it's a downward revision. So pretty much S&P 500 minus the Magnificent 7. So that tells us how concentrated those positive earnings revisions are. And the chart on the right-hand side shows us the spread between market cap and uh, net income. Uh, and... Uh, uh, for the top five companies, okay, the blue line represent the market cap for the top five. The 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 yellow line represent the net income percentage of uh, the top five. Uh, not only they both are moving up, but also there is a gap. There's a diverging between the two. The gap is getting uh, getting bigger. The gap getting bigger, meaning that people are willing to pay more for the top five stocks in S and P five hundred, meaning that uh, people are anticipating better better earnings revisions uh, or better earnings because it's it's that it's showing that the PE is going bigger okay probably because the uh, the the futures earnings uh, or forward EPS is getting better and better but of course the more anticipation there is built into those uh, top five heavy stocks the more likely the harsher the disappointment are going to be if there is going to be disappointment because as you can see the, the recent corrections, they're huge because there are valuation concerns in the top heavy stocks. Okay, that's all the data I want to share with you today. Thank you for watching. I upload very frequently. Like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.